in Kenton County. That talk is about the execution style murder of a couple as they slept. It has been nearly a year since the couple was shot in the head in Ellesmere as four children slept upstairs. It was 15 days before eight members of one family in Pike County, Ohio were killed execution style. There are many more similarities in the crime scenes, but as Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us, the focus of the Ellesmere investigation has now narrowed. The Roden family in Pike County and Doug Eapman and Carolyn Tomlinson in Ellesmere were all shot in the head in their sleep. The killers taking time to pick up shell casings on their way out, drugs apparently at the heart of it all. And there were similarities to other cases that were just too close to ignore. Now that's changed. There's a lot of talk in the community that often happens when someone thinks they've gotten away with murder. The Ellesmere detective on the case and Sanders meet often to calculate the new clues. We have a pretty good idea of what we're dealing with and we have a pretty good idea of what's out there that if we had it, we could make a case. Pretty good idea of who's probably responsible for this, but we just can't quite put it together. It may be a payback or a perceived payback or a possibility that it's some sort of power play internally in that whole organization something we have not ruled out and we're looking at closely. Doug's operation in 2010, he went to prison for running an interstate pain pill trafficking operation. Nine others were charged, including family. He was back in business when killed. Right now we're getting, I heard it from somebody that heard it from somebody and that's not anything we can use in court. We need it. I heard it straight from the person that did it. One thing is certain, the person who did it is cold, methodical, close enough to the family to know Doug and Carolyn slept in the basement, close enough to let the children wake up the next morning. We have a person or persons that are capable of murder out there in our community. These are not the kind of people that we want on our streets. That would help Carolyn's daughter, Stephanie, who found the murdered couple. She and two siblings live with their grandmother now. Grandmother tells me Stephanie still has trouble sleeping something that won't change until the killer is named. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. There is a $2,500 Wheel of Justice reward for information investigators need. They're trying to file murder charges. It will be paid out through Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. Callers to Crime Stoppers are always identified by code numbers. You do not have to give your name.